All these things added. By James Allen. Read by Andrew. Chapter 8. Perfect Freedom. There is no bondage in the heavenly life. There is perfect freedom. This is its great glory. This supreme freedom is gained only by obedience. He who obeys the highest cooperates with the highest, and so masters every force within himself and every condition without. A man may choose the lower and neglect the higher, but the higher is never overcome by the lower. Herein lies the revelation of freedom. Let a man choose the higher and abandon the lower. He shall then establish himself as an overcomer and shall realize perfect freedom. To give the reins to inclination is the only slavery. To conquer oneself is the only freedom. The slave to self loves his chains and will not have one of them broken for fear he would be depriving himself of some cherished delight. He clings to his gratifications and vanities regarding freedom from them as an empty and undesirable condition. He thus defeats and enslaves himself. By self-enlightenment is perfect freedom found. Whilst a man remains ignorant of himself, of his desires, of his emotions and thoughts, and of the inward causes which mold his life and destiny, having neither control nor understanding of himself, he will remain in bondage to passion, sorrow, suffering, and fluctuating fortune. The land of perfect freedom lies through the gate of knowledge. All outward oppression is but the shadow and effect of the real oppression within. For ages the oppressed have cried for liberty, and a thousand man-made statutes have failed to give it to them. They can give it only to themselves. They shall find it only in obedience to the divine statutes which are inscribed upon their hearts. Let them resort to the inward freedom, and the shadow of oppression shall no more darken the earth. Let men cease to oppress themselves, and no man shall oppress his brother. Men legislate for an outward freedom, yet continue to render such freedom impossible of achievement by fostering an inward condition of enslavement. They thus pursue a shadow without and ignore the substance within. Man will be free when he is freed from self. All outward forms of bondage and oppression will cease to be when man ceases to be the willing bond slave of passion error, and ignorance. Freedom is to the free. Whilst men cling to weakness they cannot have strength. Whilst they love darkness they can receive no light. And so long as they prefer bondage they can enjoy no liberty. Strength, light, and freedom are ready now, and can be had by all who love them, who aspire to them. Freedom does not reside in cooperative aggression, for this will always produce, reactively, cooperative defense, warfare, hatred, party strife, and the destruction of liberty. Freedom resides in individual self-conquest. The emancipation of humanity is frustrated and withheld by the self-enslavement of the unit. Thou who creest to man and God for liberty, liberate thyself. The heavenly freedom is freedom from passion, from cravings, from opinions, from the tyranny of the flesh and the tyranny of the intellect, this first, and then all outward freedom. As effect to cause, the freedom that begins within and extends outwardly until it embraces the whole man is an emancipation so complete, all-embracing, and perfect as to leave no galling fetter unbroken. Free thy soul from all sin, and thou shalt walk a freed and fearless man in the midst of a world of fearful slaves. And, seeing thee, Many slaves shall take heart and shall join thee in thy glorious freedom. He who says, My worldly duties are irksome to me. I will leave them and go into solitude, where I shall be as free as the air, and thinks to gain freedom thus, will find only a harder slavery. The tree of freedom is rooted in duty, and he who would pluck its sweet fruits must discover joy in duty. Glad-hearted, calm, and ready for all tasks is he who is freed from self. Irksomeness and weariness cannot enter his heart, and his divine strength lightens every burden so that its weight is not felt. He does not run away from duty with his chains about him, but breaks them and stands free. Make thyself pure. Make thyself proof against weakness, temptation, and sin. For only in thine own heart and mind shalt thou find that perfect freedom for which the whole world sighs and seeks in vain. For more audiobook like this, 
hit the subscribe button, and click on the notification bell so you get notified when we post a new audiobook. Thanks for listening.